There's one thing that I have currently learned about people that go on exchange. Of course, this is just my experience. So let's say you're going on a trip. The person that, at least how I would react, would be, oh, let's see how many people would like to join me on the trip. People that go on exchange are not like that. Or they have their specific group. If there is a trip, they go there alone or just with the group that they always used to go with. So when you are on exchange, you need to do the sh yourself. So what we're doing now is going on a trip, but our group consists of like three people, four people, and some of them are from Shanghai University and some of them are not. We are going to the Yellow Mountains, which is two hours away. We're going then by train and yeah, let's go. It seems like Valeria didn't buy a ticket, or it failed or something. So now we're gonna buy a new ticket. So we have the D3323, and we have quite a good time. So, McDonald's. So most of the time we've been going through a tunnel, we're right now in a tunnel, so my ears are popping all the time. But there's nothing really to see outside. Oh, now I can see outside. And now I can't. So that's pretty much how it is. Uh, we are jumping off in 10 minutes. Bye bye train. Now we're gonna go to the hotel and tomorrow we are gonna meet up with the rest of the gang. But everybody is from either Mexico or Spain, except me. So, this is our place for tonight, and this cost 60 yuan per person, so good price, even though it smells like cigarettes. Like in China, everybody smokes, especially the men. So right now we're in Huangshan city, which is in Anhui province, and the mountain is about 50 kilometers that way. So we're gonna go to our friend's hotel and eat breakfast and then we're gonna go to the bus station. Everybody ready? Yay! Yay. So what it looks like now is that there is no way <laughs> that you can get a car on top of the mountain. And these luggages are quite heavy. What did you pack? We're here for just like a couple days. Everybody, except me, has luggage. So it's going to be really inc inconvenient to travel on the mountains. This is, this is why you need to have a backpack when you travel. <laughs> this is becoming even more of a hassle than I thought. Now, I have no idea what's going on. So we bought tickets and I think this is just to get us to the cable car. And then in the cable car we have to buy another ticket and then we have to hike. So it seems like everybody's getting rid of the necessities and putting it into this locker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. Green trees, nice hills, nature. Okay, next bus. Nihao. Now we're here, and next, okay, they have checked our passport, I think, three times, and we've had to pay multiple tickets. Apparently this mountain range was made 200 million years ago, in the Jurassic era. Let's go up, it's gonna be even more amazing.
seems like this is the way how all of the, all the stuff is imported to the hotels. That looks heavy. So now we're up here and what, we're gonna start walking? Yeah. Yeah. Start walking to the hotel. But it's gonna be like a bit of a hike, so. This is pretty. I'm trying to give the views justice, but it, like if you would jump here, it would take you like 15 seconds to be hit the ground. Is that our hotel? We don't know. It's crazy to think that they built something here. Well, everything here is built. All of these things are built here. There is supposed to be a monkey standing somewhere here, but it's too cloudy. <laughs> So we got a hotel room. They've just built like these huge hotels in the mountain. All the pictures and, and all the sites were really nice. Tomorrow we're gonna go and see the sunrise. Uh, and now we just chill out, eat and relax. Even though I'm not really feeling that tired. This is like really family friendly. Which terrace? This? Okay. This is cool. So it's 5.54 a.m. I'm right now in the Huangshan scenic area. And today actually you can see a little bit more because it's morning and there's no haze. I woke up at 4.30 or something like that and then I walked here like 30 minutes from the hotel. I'd say it was worth it. I got some good pictures. And it seems like this place attracts a lot of photographers because behind me is like seven guys with like huge cameras. And then there's a drone flying right there. I have a drone but they had a security check in the downwards part of the mountain and they took my drone away. <laughs> yeah, people are taking pictures of me now. All right, off to the next place. I wonder what that is. No, actually, I actually don't know. I think we're gonna go like back home after this. Hi, my name is Valeria. I'm from Mexico. I am in the GBIC program with Arnie, but I'm so tired. <laughs> and yeah, Arnie, come here. I just want a scene with my friend Arnie. And he is going to visit Mexico, right? Yeah, we're going to party. We are going to party. Dance salsa. Drink we're tequila. Tequila, tacos. <laughs> How are you feeling, Arnie? I'm also tired, but not too tired. We just crossed the thousand meter border. So now we're like below thousand meters. <laughs> but we still have a long way to go. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. This is the main character. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so who are we actually traveling with? Javier from Mexico City. Bernardo from Mexico City. Alex from Spain. Fernando from Monterrey. Valeria from Mexico. And Arnie from Finland, of course. Like, this place is really nice. But maybe the one thing, I don't know, something that doesn't really fit by my standards is just that they made a choice to make this as tourist friendly as possible. So there's stairs everywhere, people have mined like holes through the, through the mountains and, and uh, you don't really touch anything that's the actual mountain, you just walk on like fabricated stairs and I would need a little bit more of a challenge. Or I like to go in nature. Literally my first video was hiking in like the wilderness of the Arctic, like Northern Europe. It might feel like complaining, but it feels like you don't deserve the views because like you take a cable car here, 
15 minutes you're up here and then you just walk. We have to buy a ticket in order to get out. The amount of people here today is just staggering and it's not even rush hour. Next week it's going to be like an actual, like a long holiday for entire, the entirety of China. And we're back here where we started yesterday. Yay, I got my drone back. So all of the hotels were full, so we had to take three different hotels. So today it is Saturday night and I think we are gonna do something fun. Maybe party? Something weekend like, I don't know. I don't know what you can do in like a Chinese city with about one million people on a Saturday. <laughs> So, so, this is not good. I'm in China and my phone does not turn on. <sighs> so, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because the, it's such a hassle to do everything and I don't have much like space or battery or whatever. Yeah, my phone is still dead. Yeah, so I'm, I think I'm gonna end the video here. It's so much hassle, too much hassle. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this video was, was entertaining and yeah, I'm gonna get back to Shanghai and hopefully fix everything. Thank you.